This week, we've been focusing on the future of one of BC's most controversial industries, fish farming. We've heard from both the industry and its critics about the effect of fish farming on wild salmon. Tonight, the aquaculture method that everyone agrees would end all of the problems, but at a substantial cost. Scenes like these, a dead sea lion caught in the net of a fish farm and the drowning of 51 sea lions in Tofino recently are just one of the problems with open net fish farming. The amount of sea lions and seals last year, it was uh, less than 50 seals throughout our whole company. So uh, that was for our, our annual total. That number needs to be zero. Now that is one beautiful fish. In Langley, Larry Albright is raising farmed sockeye salmon on land. It's a small operation and couldn't ever match the volume of fish coming out of ocean farms. But containment does solve the problem of sea lice, which can kill young wild salmon. Just put these things in tanks and the industry's free to grow. Uh, but don't kill off our wild salmon. Lots here. Morton believes sea lice from the farms are killing the young wild salmon. And there is no doubt something is going wrong with the wild salmon stocks in the Broughton Archipelago. According to the latest numbers from the DFO, for the last few decades, the salmon stocks returning to spawn have maintained a steady pattern of ups and downs. But after a banner year in 2000, the number of wild salmon was practically decimated. And it is still significantly lower than it has been historically. So we asked the minister if there's a link to fish farms. Well, certainly you see uh, cyclical ramifications uh, of wild salmon, and that has been historical. You can go back uh, as far in time as you want to, and you will see cycles uh, of wild salmon depending on what the environment's like, the amount of runoff in the streams, and all of the other aspects of that. And those are the types of things you have to take into account. Some scientists also point to global warming, industrial pollution, and overfishing as potential culprits for dwindling fish stocks. But to those whose livelihoods depend on the marine resources in the Broughton Archipelago, there's been only one big change, the proliferation of fish farms. We've got a regional collapse of pink salmon stocks here. And you're convinced that is because of fish farms? There, there possibly may be other Im implications as to uh, why there is a decline in salmon stocks, but we can't move away from the obvious one here in this territory. And Global News has learned that the DFO count of wild salmon is almost entirely based on fish coming out of Glendale Cove, the spawning channel where the grizzlies go for dinner. Take Glendale out of the Broughton Archipelago, and then you'd see the real disaster. That's why he and so many others here want fish farms out of the ocean. Within the next few weeks, an all-party legislative committee, which has been investigating aquaculture for a year, will make recommendations to the government.